Okay. Uh, what now? I don't know. I feel like I need to stop soon is what I feel like, but part of me also kind of wants to like finish this little situation, maybe like start heading to Vizima, whatever that entails. I don't really want to leave it here in this area, just like waiting for the next thing. I feel like we wasted a lot of time in this area in general, and I want to end off somewhere closer to being like to the next thing, you know? So, yeah, let's go ahead and warp the fuck out of here. Fast travel time, y'all. All right, so I want to go back to town, I suppose. Sounds good. This game throws you thousands of them. It throws thousands of you with them. Dismantling is great when it gets you what you need, but I've seen people spend all their money on dismantling without realizing it. Uh, I did notice that it costed me money, so, like, immediately I was like, okay, this cost me four, so... I'll keep it in mind when things are dismantling. I'll see the price. Don't worry about it. I noticed. I was lucky enough to be an observant fool to notice. Just seeing if there's any more side quests on the map. I didn't see any more. All right, Vesemir. Ooh la la. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh, boy. Who are they? Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. I mean, if they want to come at me. Are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> the game just straight up crashed. Like, didn't even say anything, didn't make a sound. It just disappeared. What the hell? That was that was not cool game. Not cool game. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard. With my dear oh, friend wow! It actually does a recap. Nice. The sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Yes, I did. Okay, so... Was this before or after? This is when I fast traveled over to town. Okay, thank God. Thank God it saved it when I got here. I was about to be upset that I had to, like, redo my weapons and shit. I think we're okay. Thank God. We're good. Thank God. That would be annoying. Let's try this again without it crashing, I hope. Some All right. Who are they? Who are they? Skip. Don't. He'll find another. I'll buy right. some. Here we go. Geralt. Let's see what happens when it, when you leave it like this. Let's see what happens. It like went to blink to the next scene and then it crashed. What the hell, man? That wasn't cool game. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. Yeah, luckily autosave is pretty good. Colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. Stop being a bitch. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt. Jesus. Oh. Whoa, dude. Leave me be! Oh boy, here we go. Recognize this medallion. You know what it means. Back off. 
You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Oh boy. And neither are you. Well then. They won't back down now. I can see that. You're gonna wish you didn't fuck with this. Y'all didn't mean to step to this. Get fucked up. Ooh, baby. Y'all don't want to step to this. Get fucked up, baby. Dude, I just fucked their shit up. Too easy. Holy shit, dude. Bye-bye to your face and the rest of your body. Because your head is over there. Your body over there. It's all right. So you it's over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. That new sword kicked some candy ass for sure. That's all right. I don't need to come back here anyway. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that fight took two seconds because my new sword just ass ass wrecked him. Ass wrecked him. Ass wrecked him. Wrecked him. Oh God, what do y'all want? That brawl, we didn't start it. Oh? Excuses, excuses. You've not changed Motherfucker. A bit. Y Yen? Hello? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Uh, what's the rush, baby? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can't we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Who that is? Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Oh boy. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. An offer? The kind one can't refuse. <laughs> I didn't, though I could have. Uh, I wonder what he offered you. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. No more Vesemir? Oh, we'll see How's him later, horse? I hope. Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. She wants that, some of that thickness, guys. She just wants some of that thickness. That thick, Geralty goodness. Anyway, later, Vesemir. Nice knowing you. Hopefully we'll see you later. We'll, we'll, we'll keep in touch. That's a pretty good uh, Godfather reference there. Geralt gonna wake up with Roach's head on his bed. Oh no! The offer he couldn't refuse, bitch. <laughs> you know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. <laughs> Roar! 
Dodge shit, dude. Rip. Rip. <laughs> okay. This looks like good fun. Nice. GG and GG. Suck on that, ho. After the audience. Okay. Tomorrow then. We shall this speak of this. Tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years, but now Why did this play for me before whatever? This is the same thing I played when I restarted, but okay. And tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Nearby Vajim. Ooh. Ah. Carol getting that rub scrub a dub dub down. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Carol's like, God damn it. What are you doing here? Hmm. It must suffice. Think of mere cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. Not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Like, I swear to God, if you cut my hair. Catherine, we shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. The fuck? You don't like my scruffy look? Something wrong with my beard, bitch? What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. Oh, God. Question time, too? General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Bokeh. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth unknown. Parents unknown. Age unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander one Arya. Uh Man. Which one was Arian? Is that the one that I killed? I feel like I killed everyone during the end of the game, if that's Witcher 2. I think I killed that guy. Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the La Valette air. This made no impression on you. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to me? An assassin of kings. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Virgo. My question is how? Uh... 
I think I joined Yorvith, right? That's how I did it in, in Witcher 2. I left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiatel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Had to save Triss, helped Yorvith with the spell that held Saska, Saskia. I, I think I was saving Triss. I don't remember. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her. And I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansaville to bits. Uh, fuck that bitch. I was okay with that. If I remember correctly, that's the bitch that betrayed me at the end, right? <sighs> An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil, and that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade. Your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Uh, wasn't Letho the other witcher? The bald guy that we fought in the second game? I'm pretty sure I killed his bitch ass too. Well, that alliance has been dissolved. Irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death. Et cetera, et cetera. Wow, did I actually yeah. remember everything correctly? With these formalities seen to... That's pretty funny. I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. You have a hunch at the beginning of the game I didn't actually import my save? I mean, I did click the button. If it didn't work, it didn't work. But I still feel like I chose the options Feels that were like the I'm ones that I did, right? Didn't I, DJ? Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Oh, I said yes to simulating the save? Oh. Whatever the hell that means. Oh. Whatever. I don't really care that much. It's fine. I'm pretty sure I still chose all the options that I did when I played the game. I'm guessing that conversation would have went differently if I had just loaded my save and it would have just told me the things that I did actually but anyway uh oh i might have fucked up then that's fine i don't it's not a big deal that i didn't import my save i really don't care that much um yeah let's wear some black clothes homie black black or black we do not like garish colors in nilfgaard the gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Oh boy, we get to choose a formal outfit. Cool. Well, let's do that then. Imperial audience. All right. Uh, well, let's see. This one with all this fancy design on it. This one that goes vertical, like stripey things, or this one that has like kind of a florally design. Kind of leaning toward either the florally design or this one over here, to be honest. I kind of like this one. The, the one on the left and one on the right are like exactly the same, just the design on there is a little different. 
I'll take this one. The elegant courtier's doublet. Can I take all of them? Oh. I'll just take them all, bitch. Try and stop me. Mm. Yeah, I can go with that one. These all look the same. These all look the same. Alright, well. I guess that's me. This is me. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? I suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Oh my god. I'm not a boar, dude. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. <laughs> wow. What did he say? This is absurd. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Wow, okay. Uh, you said left leg back? Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. What did he say? Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Oh. The gentleman will rehearse. Uh. I guess it was left leg forward. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Okay, I guess he's okay with that. Fair enough. Can we just get this audience over the with, The gentleman man? will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for chests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Okay, Your Majesty. Fine. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Valian Namen, but can favort. Good. Then we can talk frankly, douchebag. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Uh, she's back? Are you sure? Are you sure? 
Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. Yeah, Geralt's snarkiness is the best. Agreed. Anyway, why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Yes. The look on her face so in that portrait is hilarious. For Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract, considerably more. Uh. Uh. Only doing this for Siri, bitch. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Mararid! Mararid! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace. Whom the gentleman disgusts need not bother. Whatever, dude. <laughs> That's what you look like on Monday mornings. The face, not the dress. That's pretty funny. Are you sure? Oh, the dress is for Friday nights, not Monday mornings. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. You're Hera Garbage the second. That's what I heard. Harry Garbage the second. Anyway, I just want to go talk to Jennifer, okay? That's my girl, okay? Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Sure. Jennifer, I'm here to speak with thee. Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times, it is difficult to tell the one from the other. I guess she's over here. There she is. What up, baby? Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Do I know? <sighs> Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. <sighs> Always teasing. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So, yeah, all grown up indeed. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. 
I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. What's the Wild Hunt want from Ciri, though? The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. Wow. I know as much as you Look who's do. sassy now, bitch. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. If I remember from the show, Siri had something where she could, like... What can she do again? Doesn't her scream do something or something like that? I'm trying to remember what it did, what happens. Man, I'm trying to remember from the show. So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords, secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. <gasps> Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main <gasps> square. Triss! Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Before we part, why didn't you contact? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Okay, then. Fine, let's go. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. Well, all righty then. Retrieve my equipment from the chamber lane and let's get the fuck out of here. I'll wait till I'm back out, like, in the world. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. Bye, Yennefer. Oh, I was nice talking to you. See ya. Jeez. Wow. What a fucking move. What a power move. Just teleporting the fuck out of here. Wait, what? Oh, over here. Whoops. Perfect fucking power move. Soon. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Give me my shit. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. So long, douchebag. Imperial Audience quest done. Oh, there's a quest here. Hold up! You know what? I am going to stop here, because I think we're in Vizima now, so we can probably just, like, get the hell out of here. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop right here because there's a quest here. I'd rather pick it up than uh, not. So, I mean, better to stop now than to just get into it. So, yeah, I guess we have our main story quest underway. We found Yennefer already. She's in line to help us find Siri, who, you know, I guess went missing a long time ago. And now we're going to go look for her. So, sounds like a plan. Next time on Witcher 3. That's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I am. This game is uh, it's pretty dang fun so far and definitely beautiful to look at. So I, I have nothing to complain about so far. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.